Hello friends. So today we will be learning few important terms related to C programming. Now we are all familiar with the word key which means important or it's also a device which is used to open anything like your doors or something etc. Now same way in the C programming there are keywords. Key meaning important words which are reserved words and they are predefined in the programming language. They are predefined to do certain function. Examples are int, float, care. Now int, int is used to store the integers whereas float is used to store the uh, decimal numbers whereas care just as its name suggests is used to store characters. Now let us move to the variables. We all know the meaning of the term variable means it keeps on changing. Variables are memory location in the computer's memory to store data. The example is in C. Here C is the user defined variable. The variable can be changed anywhere in the program. Suppose I declare in C uh, values is equal to 5. Then I can change it to any value I want further in the program. I can change it to 6, 7, etc. Hence the name is variables. Now, there are few rules for naming the variables. The first letter should not be an underscore. Because there are some other files which are named by underscore and hence it cannot be used. Also, you cannot use the reserved words. Those are the keywords because they already are predefined. Hence, the keywords cannot be used as variable name. You can start the variable name with any alphabet, upper or lower case. Some system names that start with underscore are underscore file now or underscore IOB etc. Hence always remember do not name the variables with the keywords hence uh, as they are already predefined. Now let us move to the term constants. Constants just as its name suggests it is constant it cannot it's a fixed value it cannot be changed. Constants are the fixed values that do not change during the execution of the program. As I have written const in the red, it has a different meaning. Constants are defined by writing the keyword const. Now we hear const is a keyword. So remember it cannot be used as a variable. So we have to use the term const before the data type or by using hash defined to declare a variable as constant means it will not change the value throughout the program. The example is data type in const is the keyword and a is the user defined variable name and we are assigning it one. So in this place uh, the value of a will remain one throughout the program. Another thing is we can how we can declare is by using hash define. We all know that pi value is constant throughout. Hence, to make that constant, we use the keyword hash define and we make the value of pi constant at 3.14. So constants do not change the value and variables cannot be used as constant. Now, let us move to data type. Now what does the term data type mean? When you break the word into two, you can spread it as data and type. That is the type of data. They are the keywords which are used for assigning type to a variable. The exa they can be further classified into primary, derived and user defined. The primary keywords or the primary data types are int size which is 2 bytes float 
size which is 4 bytes and care size which is 1 byte. Int as I said is used to store integers, float is used to store decimals whereas care is used to store characters. Now there are few questions when they ask you In generally they are asked in vivas when you go for job interviews. They might ask you the size of each. So you have to remember the size. Now, from the primary data type, there are few derived. Just as its name suggests, they are derived from the primary data types. That those are arrays and pointers. Now, arrays are a group of multiple data, which is of same data type. Now, you have to remember in this that they are of same data type. Now, why I'm saying this, that you'll get to know later in the structures. Now, let us move to pointers. Pointers are, as the name suggests, they point to something. Variables that are used to store address of another variables, they point towards the address of the variables. Now, the third ones are the user defined, that are defined by the users. They consist of structures and unions, you will get to know later. Now, arrays is the opposite of the structures. So, hence, I was saying there to remember same data type, whereas structures can be used for multiple data types, which we'll learn later. Now, there are certain standard I.O. functions. The term I.O. stands for input-output. Now, people often get confused which is the input and which is the output. I have an easy way to remember it. For the output, there is the term print. Print meaning you will print something and you will get an output. Whereas, for the input, there is the term scan. Remember, just as its name suggests, you are scanning something. Means you are taking in the input. So hence, you will never get confused. For scanning, it's the input. Whereas, for printing, it's the output. So do remember these two are very important. They will be used throughout the program. Now, there are certain format specifiers for taking in the input. Those are percent %c, percent %d, percent %f, percent %s and percent %x. Now we all know percent %c will be for character because it starts from c. Correct. Percent %d will be integer. You can also use percent %i, but we are we will be using percent %d. You can remember it as d for digit, whereas percent %f will be for float. Percent %s will be for string. You can see the first letters match. Only the difference is percent %x, which is used for the pointer. Now, just an example of how you will accept the input. First, you have to write printf that will display the output. Just as I said, print means it will print on the screen, enter a number. Now, you will put for the input scanf means you will take the input for scanning. Percentage %d that is used for an integer, you need to put an and that is ampersand that will call the address and the variable which you have declared. Suppose you have taken n here. Now, kindly note that percentage %d is for an integer, so you your n should be declared as an int, or it will be an error. We'll learn about that further ahead in errors. Now, hope you all enjoyed this lecture. Kindly go through all the definitions, and th these are the basic and important terms. So, kindly revise them, and we'll move forward. Thank you.